Hi, I'm Chris Franz with Morningstar. We're here at the 30th Annual Morningstar Investment Conference with Amy Zhang, Portfolio Manager of the Alger Small Cap Focus Fund. Amy, thanks for being here today. Thank you, Chris, for having me. Sure. So, Amy, you've run the fund since early 2015, and in that time, you've amassed a really strong record. I was wondering if you could kind of talk about your unique investment approach and specifically what you look for in investing in companies. Yes, we have a very unique strategy and we invest differently from our peers in the small cap space. At the core of what we do is identifying exceptional small companies undergoing positive dynamic change that have the potential to become exceptional large companies. We define smallness in terms of revenue because I think revenue is a better indication of size than market cap. And an initial point of investment, we have revenue, generally have revenue less than 500 million. Um, and we're looking for revenue to double in three to five years. Uh, we're benchmark agnostic. As a result, we have high active share. Our portfolio acts as an excellent diversifier for our um, clients because we don't own household names. So it's all about alpha generation. Even though- I do wanna, I do wanna if I can interrupt, talk about some of the you know, sectors you do invest in. You mentioned your benchmark agnostic. You know, the portfolio lends itself to technology and healthcare names. Certainly technology has been a theme of the conference thus far. How do you, how do you think about the portfolio in terms of risk then being so concentrated in healthcare and tech? Well, stock, um, stock selection is our competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. So sector weight, weightings is really a residual of our um, stock picking um, skills. So to that extent, as you know, innovation is a common theme for our um, companies um, because we look for companies that tra can transform an industry as dominant in a particular market niche and have large expanding market with very uh, wide moat so, so they can support um, the durability of the revenue growth over very long term. So that lends us to generally health and tech, uh, health, uh, healthcare and technology. But within those two sectors, we actually have a very broad subsectors. Uh, I think about business risk a lot. So it's actually very diversified that, you know, our company have very diversified uh, source of revenues and a customer base. So they are not correlated to each other. Um, you know, that's why our portfolio actually uh, is less risky than a bench Mark. Generally, our beta is less than one. At our three-year track record, our downside capture is 72, and our upside uh, capture is 111. So while we pay a lot of attention and shows that we can do really well in the down market, we can still participate fully in the up market. Okay. I'm kind of curious then, maybe you know, specifically within healthcare and tech, where are you finding opportunity right now? Well, again, innovation is a common theme. So as you know, um, you know, digital transformation, mm -hmm. that's universal. And the data advantage is universal. Most of our company have that, you know, cloud data analytics advantage. What I mean is to have massive data um, optimize that and can turn those data into actionable information. That is not only in technology, of course, is cloud computing, there's, you know, and with uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, with big data, uh, but, but it's also, for example, for healthcare, it's very important because doctors, you know, need uh, to have, um, you know, massive clinical data, for example, uh, streamlined and automated, uh, turned into actionable um, insights that can improve patient outcomes and you know uh, for safety and saving lives and in non industrial uh, front you know we have industrial automation um, for example machine vision uh, that automate manufacturing and of course the other themes we uh, we believe very strongly in for example you know e-commerce taking away share away from brick and mortar and also cybersecurity and the list can go on uh, but also for healthcare again saving life is very important uh, there's a, a demographically you know there's aging baby boomer so we have companies that are really in the forefront of innovation that address those clinical needs and doing screening and early detection of critical disease. Great. Amy, thanks for being here today. Well, thank you for having me. Sure. For Morningstar, I'm Chris Franz. Thanks for watching.